first month on the new Livingston Crackatoo. Heck yeah, guys. This is your first peek at the new Kraken from Livingston Lures. This is a hybrid bait that's going to do your vertical up and down, popping, erratic motion with a hard body and a soft skirt. Let's check this thing out real quick. So if you're familiar with the Titans, the Titans have an adjustable weight system. So the Krakens do as well. Phillips head screwdriver, pull this weight out and you can interchange it with any of the replaceable Livingston Lures weights. So what you get straight out of the package is a bait that's going to run shallow if you take the weight out and it's going to run at basically a mid depth six to eight feet with the weight in. Super easy to use. As you've seen in the other tutorial here, you can work this bait with simple reel turns to get that heavy duty erratic action. Low rod angle and a heck of a lot less work than some of these heavy baits that we need to get jumping subsurface. So with the Kraken, the replacement weight system here allows you to really get some interesting things going on. Just take the screw out. You can stack some of these weights and do some really interesting things with this bait. With the Kraken, what you're going to find is when you take the screw out of this guy, right? nice stainless steel screw here, you have a chamber. This chamber, this interior chamber of this bait takes on water intentionally. So as this bait hits the water, it surges inside of this bait and it's going to run very similar to your traditional up and down presentation. So this is a hard bait that has the same actions as your traditional plastic. The rear section also is open to allow water intrusion. So this is a sealed chamber. You'll see water come out of this bait just like a traditional plastic presentation. When you throw it, you need, what it really helps provide is right when we hit the water, there's that moment of hang time with this bait. As we referenced in the tutorial, there's a ton of hang time to the Kraken tube, and it reacts just like traditional plastic when it hits the water. One of my favorite features on the Kraken is the soft replaceable skirt. This is a hard body, soft tail. There's nothing worse when you're fishing a traditional plastic bait than a pesky little pike or a dink muskie coming in and tearing up your presentation. If you get a tear in your skirt, you wanna replace this with the Kraken, super easy. We're gonna grab a hold of this guy, Pull her back. I recommend taking the hooks off, but I like to live dangerously. You'll see this is a rib section. You can put a little bit of adhesive here to really secure that guy up. We'll just pull him off the skirt here. Bam. Okay. So, obviously, I could grab a black skirt and I've got a black bait right there. What's fantastic is the availability to mix things up. So, all I've got to do is say I want a black and chartreuse. I'll just grab this guy right here. Slide him around the bait. All right, and again, take the treble hooks off if you don't want stuck. Pull this guy up. Pretty dang easy. Come up in the skirt. Make sure he's seated on there. There's a ridge inside of this skirt and the ridge on the crack and that's gonna make you match this thing up perfectly every time. To really secure it up, you could grab a little bit of super glue, like a gel super glue and a drop here and a drop there, one on top and one on bottom will prevent like a pike or something grabbing this off or, or tough conditions coming through the weeds. So now I went from a black on black tube to now I have a black and chartreuse. So every cracking tube will come with a matching skirt. Great flamethrower will have the orange. Now what you can do is you could pick up a variety of skirts. So we now have custom skirts so this is chartreuse and orange. You have like a cream sickle. We've got black and white. This is one of my favorites. Stick this bad boy on there. Now we have a black white tip tube. You can do a lot of things with one body. You can get a lot of mileage out of one bait to target fish on any water that you're, you're out on and really dial in your collar patterns without the frustration of tearing things up when you're on the water. Guys, I think this bait has caught a bunch of fish. This is one of the prototypes. It has been through the ringer. It's been in a lot of musky mouths. And I'm going to show you how to work the Kraken. One thing I can tell you is don't approach this bait like you approach full plastic tube baits. Regardless of brand, this is a different kind of presentation. I don't want to say finesse. It doesn't take finesse, but it takes a different touch. So you'll notice with the Kraken, as we talked about earlier, how it will intentionally take on water through this port on the bottom, so it becomes the, buoy the buoyancy changes. What I'm going to do with this guy, throw him out. 
you can work it with your traditional upward rips, right? That works. However, I prefer to work this with a down rod angle. That thing's gonna run deeper and you're getting the same volatile, violent up and down action with far less energy exerted. So if you need to run him high, up, up, up. If you wanna get him down deep, less work, okay? Now what's cool in the design phase of this bait, I wanted to make this bait accessible to anybody and everybody. It's hard to hug big rubber except for, especially older anglers, younger anglers, or new anglers. What I wanna do, throw this guy out, point your bait at him, turn the handle. If you do quarter zips of a high speed reel, say a 6.3, this bait is gonna jump up and fall just like you're looking for that up and down action solely with your rod, right? So I'm gonna do these turns, popping, popping, popping. That bait is working, it's dancing in the water and it's gonna trigger some serious muskies. Now you'll see, and obviously we're gonna put in some underwater demo of this guy. It's a very simple action with just the short burst retrieve. Quarter turns, bam, he's going, he's going. Allow it to have time to fall. What's interesting with the Kraken that stands out from other presentations is it's hang time. If we're ripping it up, you can account for the hang time. So if I'm working with this bait and I wanna go up, you'll see my line is actually going slack there. At that point, that bait is coming up and hanging at the very top. This is my favorite way to trigger monsters. If you've moved a fish on big rubber and he's not eating, show him this. That hang time on the Kraken, right there. Slack line going out slack line going out you'll see that that bait comes up pauses before it falls that's an unbelievable way to catch a big reluctant muskies or fish that have seen a lot of presentations you know the versatility in this bait or any of them any of the krakens is out off the charts straight out of the pack you're gonna have three treble hooks this guy's just a war horse i'll grab another one here straight out of the pack you have three trebles here but with this guy, you can see I've modified it. Big seven all off the back. Standard hook in the middle. Short shank seven in the front. You got a lot of hooking power here. This bait, when they hit it, they hit the crap out of it, and he's gonna get hooked. You're not worried about weird hookups with this bait. Just pull the rod back, you're gonna have him. You can still add your blades to this. You've got the stainless steel wire here. You can mod this thing to no end. Uh, one thing I will say that's interesting, and these are prototype paint jobs. You, you, you saw the pretty one earlier, but these are out of the garage. One thing that's cool with this bait is the weighting system is the same as the Titan, right? So as we come into this bait, we take the screw out. These cavities here, they take on water intentionally. The point of this bait is to react like a traditional soft plastic, but in a hard form. But for all you modders out there, You've got an open cavity in here. You can put beads, you can put more weight if you need one to run really deep. You can put beads, split shot, whatever you want in this thing, it's gonna have rattles, it's gonna be fatter, deeper running. There's so much you can do. For me, I love the shallow presentation with this guy. I'll grab my little seven gram weight from the Titan weight kit or the 14 gram. I can mod this thing all day long to fit every presentation I need. So mid, shallow, deep, any way I need this thing to run, I can get it done. Simple bait, easy to run. Try it first with real turns. Start snapping that thing up and down and it's gonna put monster muskies in your net.